I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can turn your music videos into anime using AI. Now to get started, this is our original clip right here. To get you guys the best settings possible on your clip, I highly recommend going in, throwing on a Lumetri color. As you can see in this Lumetri color, what I did is I just turned the contrast down, the shadows up, and the whites up a little bit just to get a more clear image. And then I threw posterized time on the clip, changing it from 24 frames per second to 12 frames per second. And then what you guys are gonna do is you're gonna go frame by frame. There'll be every other frame. So you wanna screenshot the first frame, second frame, onwards until you have all your frames in a folder just like this and you want to name them one through whatever. Once you guys have all your frames, you guys want to go to this website called Deep Dream Generator. It'll be linked in the description below. When you guys are on the site, you want to go up to generate up here and you have two options. You can do text to dream, deep style, which you choose the image and then you choose the image you wanted to copy the art style of, or you can do deep dream. So it's up to you guys, whatever you want to do. You have a certain amount of credits here. So this one takes five to generate. This one also takes five and then deep dream over here takes two. Now it's up to you guys. For this one, I did text to dream. You can play around with the deep style. If there's a specific anime style you want from a specific artist or anime. We're going to go over to text to dream though. Once we're in text to dream, we're going to click on base image and we're going to upload our image of Sofago here. So upload files. And I'm just going to drop that in there. You're going to want to put in your very first frame and open that there. And now the effect strength here is super important. I think putting it at 30 is the best possible for this anime effect. And then we're going to go up and put anime art style and then go down to landscape. And then we're going to hit generate and see what it gives us. All right, boom. And then you guys are going to get something like this. If you don't like the way his eye look or anything like that or the art style you guys can go and regenerate and change the art style and then play with the effect strength i actually did it a few times to come across the original effect that i got for this tutorial so mess around with it a little bit once your image pops up on the screen in deep Dream generator you want to right click and save as we're going to go into our files here where we have our image here that we saved from them so this is the one i got right here next you guys are going to want to go into your files and you want to create two folders one that's called video and one that's called effect like i said earlier you want to put all your keyframes from your clip layered one through to whatever in the video folder. Then you want to create a new folder called effect and you want to put your one AI anime image in there. Now we're going to open up this program called EB Synth. All right, now once EB Synth is open, you guys are going to have two options here, keyframes and video. It might look a little confusing right now, but don't worry, it's not that bad. We're going to drag and drop our video folder into the video section and then our effect folder into the keyframe section. And then we're going to go to our output and select where we want that. So I want that right there, select folder. And then we're going to hit run all. Now this is going to load. What this does is it applies the first effect to all of the frames and boom, just like that. As you guys can see, we have all these rendered frames right here of the effect. Now, the next step is opening up Premiere and dragging and dropping all these in here. We're going to trim each one down to two frames and then delete the excess. And once you guys are done doing that, you should have something like this. You want to drag it for each frame. So each frame that matches the video, you're going to have it on top just like that. And you can play it through just like this. And now what I recommend doing is highlighting all of them right clicking and nesting. And then there's a couple things I'm gonna throw on this to make it look better. I'm gonna throw a Lumetri color on here and we're gonna play with the temperature. I turned the blues all the way up and the pinks up a little bit while turning up the saturation. Turn the contrast down while cranking up the whites. So this is after and then before. Gives it more of that bright anime look. And then I also recommend going and tossing a uni glow on there. Going to effect controls and then turning down the intensity a little bit just like that so before and after just to give it more of that anime look and boom guys that is the effect there we just turned sofago into an anime character the possibilities with this stuff is endless guys you can really get super creative with the anime styles you want and not even just anime you guys can do a shit ton of stuff shout out to max novak and brian almada for giving me the idea to do this tutorial if you guys enjoyed this video i recommend checking out the super crazy yeet 3d text tutorial alongside this sofago tutorial where i show you guys how to do falling meteors and crazy explosions thank you guys so much for watching i'll catch you guys in the next one